Let's talk about what a plant-based diet is and isn't for kidney health. Plant-based has become more and more of a buzz term and for good reason, but since there's so many myths and misconceptions around a renal diet and a plant-based diet in general, I wanna clear it all up for you. In this video, you're gonna learn what a plant-based diet is specifically for kidney health, how it can help someone with kidney disease protect their kidney function and delay or prevent dialysis, and what resources are available to help you get more plants in your diet. So let's start with defining what a plant-based diet is in general. Basically, it is a whole minimally processed diet that's mostly or entirely plants. So that means it either mostly or entirely avoids animal products, and that can be different for everyone. It really emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds, and it focuses on health and preventing or helping treat and improve chronic diseases. What it is not is it's not necessarily vegan. It could be for some people, um, but it's definitely not an ultra processed vegan or plant-based food diet. Again, that plant-based word has become a buzzword and a lot of food manufacturers are using it in marketing and putting it on packages of these ultra processed vegan foods. So what is the difference there? So if we look here at impossible or beyond meat, sorry to call them out, but these are ultra processed. They're made mostly of substances that are extracted from food. So something like soy protein, concentrate, or isolate, they usually have a lot of added oil, salt, and artificial ingredients like potassium or phosphorus additives. Now compare that to minimally processed. I want you to really understand what I mean when I say minimally processed. Um, that means that undergoes a degree of processing to make the food edible or for preserving it, but you're not stripping away or losing the nutritional value. So an example of this would be something like tofu, tempeh, or seitan. Now, what are some examples of whole, minimally processed plant-based foods? So of course, vegetables, fruit, legumes, like I mentioned, that could be beans, it could be chickpeas, it could be green peas, it could be lentils, tofu, edamame, tempeh, soybeans, different whole grains, and then of course, our nuts and seeds. Now, one of the most important things to realize that a plant-based diet, really we want to think of this as a plant-based dietary pattern because there are a lot of different plant-based dietary patterns. As I mentioned before, plant-based diet doesn't mean necessarily vegan or that you don't eat any animal products. It just means that it emphasizes these whole plant foods more than it does the animal products. So the DASH diet is an example um, you know, it might have some fish and selfish, maybe some low fat dairy and then some poultry or the Mediterranean diet may have some dairy or fish or selfish, maybe some leaner proteins. Of course, a vegetarian or vegan diet might have eggs. It might not. It might have dairy. It might not. And then um, the Plato diet, that's one that is a lower protein plant predominant diet that's more geared towards people with kidney disease. Again, that's all of these plant foods and at least more than 50% of the protein coming from plants. So if we think of a plant-based diet as a dietary pattern, it allows for a lot of flexibility and variety in the diet without being super strict or you have to be 100% all or nothing. So how can a plant-based diet help kidney health? Kidney disease is so complex that it has a lot of moving parts. And while the most common causes of kidney disease are diabetes and high blood pressure, there's a lot more going on that can impact the kidneys. Things like inflammation, gut dysbiosis, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, oxidative stress, mineral bone disease, vitamin D deficiency, excess body weight, poor sleep, stress in general. These are all things that can impact our kidney health and how quickly our kidney disease progresses. So this is why we can't just put someone with kidney disease on a low potassium, low salt, low phosphorus diet, and then wait until it progresses to kidney failure. A plant-based diet, and again, when I say plant-based, I mean plant predominant, plant focused, mostly plant, um, but plant-based in general, it really helps with all of these things that I mentioned before. So if we look at these benefits of plant-based dietary patterns, again, that means a DASH diet, a Mediterranean diet could be vegetarian, could be vegan, but these diets are typically high in antioxidants, so they help lower inflammation. They have a lower prowl or potential renal acid load, so this helps to prevent and treat metabolic acidosis. There's less absorbable phosphorus and even less absorbable potassium. Um, these diets are higher in fiber. There's a huge, huge link between gut health and kidney health, so improving gut health and um, having less 
uremic toxins being created and needing to be cleared from the body by the kidneys also helps improve kidney health. There's also lower intraglomerular pressure and toxin load with plant proteins compared to animal proteins. So again, this can help with our um, kidney function and slowing or halting kidney function decline. And then in general, we see that these plant-based dietary patterns help with lowering blood pressure, help lower blood sugar, and help people maintain a good, healthy body weight. So now that we know how awesome a plant-based diet is, how do we make it specific for kidney disease? Number one, we have to ensure that it's not ultra processed. We still want to avoid a high sodium diet, a high refined sugar diet, an ultra processed food diet that often has potassium and phosphorus additives. We can't forget about that part. So a plant-based kidney diet is one that is minimally processed, not ultra processed. Number two, we want to focus on the low hanging fruit. Um, and really that starts with getting more vegetables and fruit in the diet, regardless of where you're starting. If you need to limit potassium, choose low potassium options like cucumber, bell pepper, cabbage, kale, onions, apples, berries, pears, pineapple. There are so many options. And if potassium isn't an issue for you, then enjoy whatever fruits and veggies you like, just not star fruit. Number three, try minimally processed plant proteins in place of your animal protein. So start by choosing just one meal and make this swap. If you usually make a pasta dish with ground meat, try lentils or tempeh or tofu instead. If you make a chicken salad sandwich for lunch or a wrap, try to make it with chickpeas or garbanzo beans instead. If you are making a stir fry dish for dinner, you can try to roast or pan fry tofu instead of whatever animal protein that you're having. And number four, remember that it does not have to be all or nothing. I repeat, a plant-based kidney healthy diet does not have to be all or nothing. You can still choose to eat animal products on a plant predominant diet and still be kidney friendly. You just really need to be real, realistic in assessing how much you're consuming and make small adjustments. If you usually eat eggs and cheese and bread with butter on it and a piece of bacon for breakfast, can you change it to a veggie omelet or scramble? Can you use a quarter of an avocado on your toast instead of butter and have maybe a half to one cup of berries or another piece of fruit on the side? There's so many ways to just start small with a meal you already have and get more fruits and veggies and maybe make a plant protein swap. Next thing is monitor your labs and make adjustments as needed. Again, it's not recommended to restrict potassium unless your blood levels are elevated, but even then they may be elevated for non-dietary reasons. So all of those things need to be um, explored and to help prevent hyperkalemia, which is high blood potassium levels with a plant-based diet, you want to make sure you're avoiding potassium additives. So that pulls in the limiting and avoiding the ultra processed foods because those oftentimes have potassium additives. Those are more readily absorbed in the gut. These are things like salt substitutes. Um, and really we want to avoid those because we're going to absorb them more quickly, more readily than we get from plant-based foods. And then we also want to avoid very concentrated sources of potassium or a large intake of very high potassium foods if potassium is an issue. So don't drink juice, just eat the actual fruit. That way you don't get a concentrated source of that potassium with zero fiber. Don't eat sweet potatoes every single meal. We really want to have a diverse diet that has plenty of different plant foods and that's how we make it kidney friendly. So to sum it all up, a plant-based diet for kidney health is a plant predominant, minimally processed diet that emphasizes whole plant foods, especially fruits and vegetables. It's a dietary pattern that promotes better gut health. It lowers blood pressure. It lowers blood sugar and helps keep you at a healthy body weight while also lowering inflammation, oxidative stress, and the potential renal acid load. It's a dietary pattern that is a lifestyle change. It is not a short-term diet that you follow for a month or two, and then you go back to eating your old ways. Plant foods and their portion are chosen based on individual nutrient needs, but they leave plenty of room for flexibility and diversity. I'm constantly asked, what do I eat? Or how do I know how much protein to eat? Or how do I know how much potassium to have so that I don't get too much or too little in my diet? For this reason, I created a plant-based kidney diet guide. This guide walks you through how to calculate your nutrient needs. It provides the kidney specific nutrition information like potassium, phosphorus, carbs, potential renal acid load, fiber for over 300 different plant foods. It teaches you how to build plant-based meals and how to flavor your meals so that they taste good. So you can say, hey, I want to have this fruit, this legume, this whole grain. I can look up exactly how much potassium or protein or fiber is in that and make sure that it fits your individual needs. 
It also includes a ton of bonus material like recommended products, tips for eating out, and supplements that you may want to consider. I created it for people with kidney disease that are struggling with the how to get more plants in their diet. And again, it's not something that has to be 100% plant-based or not at all. It's really no matter where you're starting and wherever you're trying to go, people with kidney disease can benefit from getting more whole plant foods in their diet. And this teaches you how to do that. So you can get the link for this in the notes section of this video or head to plantbasedkidneys.com and you can order it. I also have a ton of free resources for eating more plant-based diets on my website, my YouTube channel, my Instagram. You can find me all on there. I'm Michelle Crosmer. I'm a renal dietitian and I appreciate you being here and being on this journey to protect your kidney health and kidney function.